guys, this is Grace Tolman and welcome to another process video. This is number 99. This is entitled Cute Halloween Party. So if you watched my last one, then you know that I'm kind of in a Halloween kick. Um, not really a kick, but um, there's these two events that I wanted to scrapbook that's Halloween based. And so I'm just kind of doing them one after the other. And this one was actually, um, this one was also based off of a sketch uh, in the month of July. This page is going to be posted on my YouTube channel in the month of August, but um, I entered it for a July challenge. And I believe it's for a scrap or stash. Um, now a little bit about the items that I'm using. Uh, I, I really dived into my scraps for this layout. Uh, the only really 12 by 12 photo or sorry 12 by 12 paper that I've used was the stars and then the background which is a more fall themed. Uh, like I said in my previous video process video I don't have a lot of Halloween papers. Uh, a couple of years ago, I just decided that it's not worth my time to keep papers like those because I, I mean, I do scrapbook them, but I don't do them all the time, so it's not worth it. But um, I tried to incorporate some fall theme items in this page just to match the theme, and I also have some stickers, which is great. Um, so those top papers there, they are just pieces of scraps. And the sketch had these tabs on the top. And I'm going to turn the, them as tabs in a little bit. But I am working with the title right now, just figure out where, figuring out where I'm going to spot them. Or, or, where, ugh, or where I'm going to place them, rather. And I have these thickers from American Crafts. And then I also have the Amy Tangerine word stickers that I've been wanting to kind of just use up. I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time using up those generic title words. It just seems like they never fit, like the meet me in the sunshine. I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about this. Uh, I have the one, two, three punch board, and I rarely use it. So when, when I saw the sketch and it had some tabs, I immediately thought about, oh, this will be the perfect time for me to bust that out and kind of dust it off. And that's what I did. I just did a little bit of um, tab or created uh, some really quick tabs from those scraps of paper. And I love it. And I wish that I would remember to use it a little bit more so that I could you know, make it feel worthwhile purchasing that, um, that tool. So I turned off my camera because it ran out of space in there. And so while I was waiting for it to load on my computer so I'll have more room, I kind of worked on all the layers. I also added just really subtle um, design on the back using some mixed media. I just used some clear modeling paste. That really, the clear wasn't my intention. I was, I was actually going to use white, but I totally forgot that because I have a couple of modeling paste in my stash and I totally forgot that the one I grabbed was clear. You know, I mean, when you put it in, it's white, but then when it dries, it tr dries clear. And so it's very subtle. I wish I would have just done the white, but I forgot it. But alas, it's all right. The stencil that I used is from Plaid. And then I've also, when I layered all of the layouts, just to kind of see where everything is going to go, I also added some pen lines on on the edges of those papers just to make them stand out a little bit more and then I also pulled out a bunch of the die cuts that I still had on my table when I was working with the previous uh, process video the one just before this one so uh, this one is the same year as my process video number 98 but this one was my daughter's um, kindergarten Halloween party and so I wanted to split them up and you probably are wondering why are you splitting them up when they're the same day and then this the same theme well I figured I'd split them up because I will put them in their separate albums so this one will go with my daughter's album and then the other one will go with my son just so that they could kind of you know have that with with them with their own books and not have to worry about splitting them because they're all in our family's albums. And I also hand cut some of these dies, just kind of fussy cut them so that they're not all blocky, they have some shape to it. 
Uh, so this scrubber stash challenge not only provided you a sketch, but also kind of gave you a little bit of a recipe or product challenge. Um, and the challenge or the products that I used for the challenge will be stick pins, twine, and uniball. So the uniball pen was used for just adding some pen stitching outside of that um, background paper, just to give it a little bit of a grounding effect. And then the stick pins, as you can see, is right there, which I'm actually sticking on some fun foam on the back right there, sandwiching it between the stick foam, the fun foam, and also the die cut shape um, so that it won't, like the bottoms of it won't pierce the paper um, on the back and maybe cause damage to layouts next to it or behind it or whatever. And then the twine, I used it just to kind of tie those pins together. I love the look of pins, like I love seeing Jennifer, Jen Gallagher use it, but I rarely use my pins. So when I saw this challenge, I thought, ooh, that would be a great way for me to actually pull my stash out and bust it out. So I'm just adding some more stickers. This was a very quick layout as far as process video because um, I did a lot about a lot of the thinking of how to put this layout together while I was waiting for my camera to have more space in it while I was loading the items in my computer. So here are a bunch of um, oh, uh, what am I saying? A bunch of close-up video or close-up photos. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys.